we all sometimes find ourselves in situations where we're stuck and we're constantly complaining. One of the reasons that we remain in these situations is because of what is called as a secondary payoff. A secondary payoff is an indirect benefit we get from a situation, even if that situation was bad. So the reason why we stay in a dysfunctional relationship with an abusive partner could be that the other option of not staying with this partner is to be lonely. And that is a worse setup than the abusive relationship. So the secondary payoff of the bad relationship is the peace of mind that we have is that in that we're not going to be lonely. A similar setup could be projected on a professional relationship where you work in an environment that's poisonous and you don't really like it. But there is a secondary payoff and that is it's giving you professional and financial security where you can use that to put food on the table for your family and that's valuable. So the reason you're complaining is justified but what's keeping you in that painful environment is the secondary payoff that you're getting. A similar setup could be in a relationship with an abusive boss. You tolerate an abusive boss because it's better than being fired and going through the entire insecurity of finding a job all over again. I can go on and on and on with these examples, like a relationship with your buddy. You eat cheesecake or chocolate cake knowing that it's not good for you because you enjoy it. There is a secondary payoff. It makes you happier. You eat sugar knowing that it's bad for you, but sugar makes you feel better. And the list could go on. People avoid confrontations, although sometimes they're necessary. Why? Because they don't want the stress of confrontation. People avoid taking, um, making initiative, business initiatives, or any kind of leap forward that would create progress. Why? Because with that comes stress. So they go for the secondary payoff of their current situation, which is suboptimal, why? Because giving them peace of mind and it's avoiding them the stress that comes with being an entrepreneur or taking risk or moving, doing steps forward. The point is that we have to be honest, brutally honest with our reality. And every time we find ourselves in a situation where we're complaining about, we have to have the courage to look in the mirror and ask ourselves the difficult question. What is the secondary payoff that I'm getting at this? What is justifying me staying in this situation that I am complaining about? With truth and courage, you get to know the truth. You get to know the nature of your reality. And with that, you fix your situation. Either you stay in that situation without complaining, without feeling a victim, you know, without being upset with yourself, without bitterness, resentment and anger, or you face reality and say, it doesn't matter about the secondary payoff. I'm not taking this anymore. I'm going to change the situation. There is nothing worse than fooling yourself. And self-leadership is exactly the opposite. It's about truth and courage, especially when dealing with secondary payoffs.